Hello, good morning, year four. I hope everyone is doing great. Well, I am back again with another recorded lesson and uh, our today's topic is frequency tables. This is also a part of our handling data unit. Let's begin. So learning objectives for today's lesson are that by the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret given information from the frequency table and create and analyze a frequency table from the given data. Now yesterday, uh, if you remember, we were able to uh, learn about a few new words and those were the words that I can underline over here as well. The first one was interpreting, the other one was data and then we had tally charts and tally marks. So I'm sure that you remember interpreting is something when we are trying to explain uh, the information that is in the form that is stored in the form of a given table or a chart. So interpreting is basically um, deducing or concluding some kind of information. For example, yesterday we talked about the spring tally chart. So in that spring tally chart, we were able to find out how many chicks are there, right? So um, what we were trying to do is that we were trying to interpret that data. Now today we are going to talk about frequency table. So let's see what frequency tables are. Right, so what are frequency tables? The frequency of a value is the number of times it occurs. We can use a frequency table like the one below to show how many times each value occurs. For example, I will give you an example here. That here we have a tally chart which also has a word or a column with the name of frequency. The frequency is basically uh, a total or how many times that number or item is coming. Now in this chart you can see different fruits. The first one is a banana. So we can count the bananas and then we can make a tally for it, a tally mark, right? So if you can observe closely there are seven of the bananas in the uh, picture right next to it. Frequency. Now you can write the frequency as the number, not as a tally. Now here we have written it in the form of a tally mark, but the frequency of that would be 7. Yes, yesterday we talked about it as the total and today the name of the total is basically frequency and hence this is a frequency table. Same is the case with the carrots. So first we are going to count the carrots how many carrots are there five carrots are here and then you are going to write the frequency right next to it this is the amount of time it occurs in our data and now same is the case with tomatoes and apples and pears so you are just going to write down the total of them in the frequency column right let's move on okay let me clear this okay now uh, over here i have a frequency table but it has some information missing so what i want you to do is that you can write the missing information for example here the tally mark is given to you so you have to count the tally marks and you have to write the frequency here okay for example the first one i can see that this is five and this one is four so the frequency of the pet hamster is 9. Uh, this is a pet survey basically of different uh, pets. Looks like it's a classroom with different students and they have these pets at home. So there are 9 students who have hamster as the pet. Then you are going to fill in the missing information for dog and cat and the bird. And then you have to fill in the tallies for the fish and the column none in which this, there is there are some students who don't have any pet after filling in the survey 
you can uh, interpret this data by answering these questions. For example, how many children have hamsters as pet? So you are going to write down the frequency here. How many children have cat as pet? Then how many children have dogs and birds all together as pet? And the last one, the most interesting one, is how many children have pets? Now this is a very interesting question. From this, from this table, you will first count all the children who have pets. But there are a few children who don't have pets. So you're not going to include those, remember that. The last column you're not going to include. You're going to add up all the sorry. You're going to add up all the values from this column up to fish. Right. Now let's move on. You can pause my video, do your work, and then resume. All right. Right. Let's move on. So this is from a uh, student book page number forty nine. This is question number one. In this, there are different numbers who are coming more than once. Okay, and uh, this is basically from a class of 20 students who got following marks out of 10 for an assignment. So these are 20 numbers in front of us and they are uh, ranging from, um, I would suppose, 0 to 10 because the assignment was 10 marks. Now you have to write down not just the, the tally marks, but you have also, you have to also count the frequency of each mark that they scored. Okay, so you have to complete both the columns here. Now this is the missing information here. Uh, you can pause my video here and resume when you are done. Right, let's move on. So let's assess the learning objectives. Now we are done by interpreting given information from the frequency table. We are able to conclude or deduce some kind of information from the given table. Now we are going to create and analyze a frequency table from the given data. So let's create something. Now here I have a table uh, which has bedtimes. So what you have to do is you have to create a frequency table to find out what time everyone goes to bed on a school night. Now if you were in a classroom then we would have done it together. But since you are at home right now, so how about you create a table with all the family members for example you can write here uh, for your mom what time she goes to bed let's say she goes to bed at 10 right so you're going to write here 10 and then you can write p.m. also so that it knows that we are talking about night time then if you have a, a younger brother or a sister they might be going at the same time as the as mom right so you don't have to Write 10 again, in fact. Okay, let me just delete that. Right. So if you have um, another sister who's going to school, then he, she or he may be going early, like 8 p.m. Then uh, if you have an elder brother, he might be going at 9 p.m. You see, everybody in one house may have different time to sleep. Then you can ask your dad what time he goes to sleep. Maybe he sleeps very late. Okay, so you can write down something like this. And then you can make tallies. For example, this is the tally. One person goes at 10 p.m. And the another person in your house sleeps at 8 p.m. Like this. And if you have a bigger family, you have some uh, cousins over or you live with lots of people, then you can, of course, have more than one. For 10 p.m. depends upon how many people sleep at 10 p.m. and then you can write the frequency next to it all right so this is how you create a frequency table uh, by collecting data or information uh, from those around you and then you are going to store them in the form of a table and then it would be easier for you to interpret it for example you might say that there are uh, three people who sleep after 8 p.m., right? 9, 10, and 11. So there are more people who are sleeping after 8 p.m. in your house. I mean, it's just an example. But this is how you interpret information from a given table. Right. So let's read our core citizenship value, which is early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, that is true. 
you know sleep is very important in our everyday life and we must take care of sticking to a particular schedule when coming to the bedtime it's not un, uh, it's not healthy to sleep at different times every day because then you are not into a routine and then you might feel uh, you know exhausted or irritated irritated in the morning all right okay let's uh, move on to our next slide we will now assess our learning objectives again and we have covered both of them nicely we have created and analyzed a frequency table from a given data so uh, by the end of the lesson you can think of something which you learned today uh, for example the term frequency table was used today and it means and then you are going to say that in your own words and you can explain it to your mom or dad that this is what i learned today in my recorded lesson and this was the new term that i learned and if there is something that you would like to find out more about you should not hesitate to ask me uh, by writing an email or when you come to school all right so with this um, our lesson comes to an end i hope you enjoyed making frequency and um, frequency tables and interpreting information from that so i'll see you soon next time take care bye bye